Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Daddy's Barbecue Pit. This week, we're going to use our rotisserie attachment on our Weber kettle, and we're going to roast a turkey. Stick around! Okay, so for our, we got about a 14 pound turkey here, and we're gonna go ahead and just, we're gonna stuff this cavity. We're not doing traditional uh, dressing or stuffing, whatever you call it. Today we're gonna use some fresh aromatics uh, to put inside this bird. So we have some fresh thyme and rosemary that we're gonna put up in there. Got an apple we're gonna put up in there. Got a half an orange going in. Some celery stalks, an onion, onion. And this is really gonna help keep the shape of the of the turkey. Let's see if we can get some more of the celery in there. Yeah. So we got that good and stuffed, you can see it. But it should keep the shape now while we're roasting it. Give it some good flavors from the inside out. Okay, so we got our bird stuffed. And now what I've done is tuck the wings up under. And we got a piece of uh, butcher's twine here. That we've, that we've tied around the wings. We want to try to keep them as close as possible so they're not flopping around on the rotisserie. We're just going to go around here a few times and we're going to cinch this. You want to get it good and tight. And tie a knot. We're going to come up here and the last part we're going to tie. And this doesn't need to be perfect. We're going to do these legs. And you just want to wrap it around. There, we'll cut this excess string off. And then we're going to put our spit through here and start our seasoning process. We got our spit. We're going to put this through the center of the bird. And it's going to come through that. Some of that stuff that we put in there, and that's fine. It's going to come right out through there, and we're going to push this back grade in. We want to try to keep this as dead center as possible. So we're going to slide that up a little bit more. And then we're going to push this back tine in there as tight as we can get that fork in there, and then tighten it as tight as you can get as well. Now we're going to come in with the front fork. And try to miss these legs if possible. Get into those thighs. Okay, so we dried this turkey really well. It's been sitting here and it was in the refrigerator drying for a couple hours. Uh, and then we patted it real dry with some uh, paper towels. Now we're just going to hit it with some olive oil, or excuse me, avocado spray. Try to hold our seasoning on a little bit. Don't want to go crazy with it. You want to make sure you get all sides. Today we're going pretty simple. We're going to use Killer Hogs AP. We're going to dust this real good with it. Okay, now we're just hitting it. This is just regular old poultry seasoning. We're going to put a little of this on top. So we got her seasoned up. We're going to let it sit. Probably for about 10 minutes. Make sure our rotisserie is ready to go. And we'll take this out and put it on. Should take about three hours. 14 pound bird. Okay everybody, I wanna tell you where we're at right now. I'm sitting at 350 on this kettle where I wanna be. We are about half open on the top vent and about half open on the bottom vent. We're cooking uh, indirect today. We got some B&B briquettes off on one side. And all I've done here is set a, I've actually set just a foil pan down in there. That way it catches, it'll keep our pit a little bit cleaner, easier to clean up uh, at the end of the cook. We've got our turkey over here. We're going to go ahead and get this lined up in our spit, into the motor. I'm going to move this pushing down on and tighten it up. And we're gonna see if we need our counterweight today.
So we're gonna go ahead and check our turkey. We're about one hour in. See, it's looking pretty good. Got some juice dripping down there nice. It's getting some nice color to it. I think at this point we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna insert our meter probe into it. So we're just gonna push this in, try to get it down into the deep part of that breast there. I think everything looks pretty good. Not much for us to do to it at this point. We're gonna go ahead and turn the rotisserie back on. And we're gonna get our lid back on and let her cook. Our coal still look pretty good. Might have to add a few here in a little bit. That's okay. Hey everybody, welcome back. So we're, we have hit temperature in the breast on this bird and you can tell it, the color on it is amazing. We got a lot of juice coming out of it. We're about 165 on the breast. The thighs are temping out. We did add a, a few more hunks of charcoal in about halfway through the cook just to make sure that it carried over well. But overall, everything looks great. We're going to take it inside and let it rest for 15 minutes to a half an hour. Then we're going to slice it up and let you know how it tastes. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and cut some of these strings off here. Go ahead and loosen up these forks on the spit. Pull this one off first. And I'm gonna lift this off. Set our bird right down on this cutting board. We're gonna go ahead and pull and spit out. At this point we're going to go ahead and let this turkey rest for probably about 15 minutes to a half hour and we're going to go ahead and I'll, I'll tent this with some foil and then we're going to come back and we're going to slice it apart and give it a shot. Okay everybody so our turkey has rested for about a eh, half hour we're going to go ahead and do some slicing on this guy. So we're just going to go right down through here. Cut down this breast. We're going to come in from the other way. Cut over. You can see the juice just pouring out of this thing. Nice and juicy. Cut this guy off. Bring this Breast out of here. Got some real good juice in there. And this was an unbrined turkey, so we did not brine it. You can see how nice and juicy it is. Just cut some pieces. That skin's nice and bite through. And they're sliding right through it. It's crispy. I'm going to try this piece right here. See the juice in it. See the juice pouring out of that. Mm. Mm. That is excellent. Rotisserie turkey. We didn't do a lot to it. We hit it with some AP from Killer Hogs. We used a little poultry seasoning on it. This thing is excellent. Give it, give this recipe a try. I'm sure you'll like it. Thank you for following us on all the socials. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you next week. Get you some. Oh my God. Oh.
Look how juicy that is. Flavors in that? Try that. It's so 